Webflow just unlocked the class attribute on all elements. Before we could only use this on the custom element and it had some big limitations, but now it's much more powerful. To see this in action, here we have a div set to flex horizontal and on tablet, let's switch the direction to vertical so that the image stacks underneath the text. Sometimes we'll want the image on the left and the text on the right. To do that, let's duplicate our entire section. And for the second instance, we'll select this list and give it a class of is reversed. Whenever that class is attached, we'll change our flex direction to right to left with no wrapping so that the image appears first. Now this image has a width of 50 viewport width, which means it's, it's extending past the width of its parent here. To fix that, we can give this visual wrap a class of is reversed. And even though this is the same class name, it's different because it's stacked on a different base class. So we can change the styling here as we want and align it to the right instead so that the image inside extends past this edge. Now on tablet, we've overridden this list with the class of is reverse to be a horizontal direction. We want to make sure our is reverse class also stacks vertically on tablet so that the text appears above the image like the first section. Now we can turn this entire first section into a component and we'll call this section and we can start linking things to component fields. So for this split list, we want to optionally add or remove the is reverse class between components. We're going to need to leave this class off by default. That way we can control that combo from the custom attributes. We'll give it a name of class and we'll set the value to is reversed so that if this field is empty, it won't be reversed. And if it is filled, it will be reversed. And we can have multiple classes in here as long as they're separated by a space. So I could have a utility of background brand and that could apply my blue background color and space for my is reversed. And the order that these classes are added in the field doesn't matter. In this case, I'm just gonna leave the is reversed and I'll link this to a field and I'll call this layout style. Now we can either leave this class off by default or leave it on. I'm gonna leave it on that way it's easy for whoever's using this component to just remove without having to know the class name to begin with. So let's create. Now we wanna make sure that same is reverse class is applied to this image wrapper. So we'll give this a class and we'll link it to the same field we've already created so they don't have to manage the class from two separate fields. We could do the same thing by adding is reverse to the title or any other elements we want to change. And we could use this with an is active or is featured or any other type of class we want. Now, if we close out this whole component, if we remove this, the layout is not reversed. And then we can click to reset to return it back to its original state. And I'm gonna copy this whole component. And here I have a collection list with two items. I'm gonna paste this component inside the item. Now for my items here, I've added an option dropdown field and I've called this layout style and I've set the only option to be is reversed and the field is not required. So on this first item here, the client has gone ahead and not filled out the field at all. And on this second one, the client has set the value to is reversed. So now we can control this inside collection items. So these are my two items. I'm gonna select them and I'm going to link their layout style to that option dropdown field so that the first one is reversed or is not reversed and the second one is like so. And that's how to use the class selector in Webflow.